Hi, this is Informed TV 100. Happy Black History Month slash American History. Without Black History, there would there would be no American history. So today I have the pleasure of playing the audio from Martin Luther King. I had a dream speech. I can I am assured that most of you or a lot of you have heard this speech, but enjoy it every single time you hear it. So please hit the like button. Please hit the notification button. So you will get all the notifications of Inform TV 100. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And following this video, Inform TV 100 will continue the series on the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave written by himself. We will do some more readings. We are reading this book throughout Black History Month, so we will continue where we left off. And so now I have the great pleasure of playing the audio from I Had a Dream. It was a pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King, the I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation this momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity 100 years later the, the negro is still languished in the corners of american society and finds himself in exile in his own land and so we've come here today to dramatize the shameful condition in a sense, we've come to our nation's capital to cash a check. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men Yes, black men as well as white men would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note insofar as our citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check, a 
check which has come back marked insufficient funds. For TV 100, part one. to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time to lift our nation from the quicksands of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. It would be fatal for the nation to overlook the urgency of the moment this sweltering summer of the Negro's legitimate discontent. This concludes part one of I Had a Dream speech by Dr. Martin Luther King. We will play part two. So look for part two of the I Had a Dream speech. Also look for narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave, written by himself. Thank you. This is Inform TV 100. Be good to yourself as well as others. And look for part two of the I Had a Dream speech. God bless you. And we will... Uh, see you in the next video where we will play the audio of the I Had a Dream speech. Take care and don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the notification button and uh, don't forget to take care of your health. Happy Black History Month. Bye for now.